Male pattern baldness, also known as androgenic alopecia, can occur in both men and women and is called such because it's related to androgen hormones such as DHT, which can cause hair loss, although I believe hair loss is more complicated than just high levels of DHT levels. Previously, I've reviewed the research on popular hair loss supplements such as Viviscal and other lesser known balding treatments such as laser caps you wear on your head and even, believe it or not, the evidence for raspberry ketones as a hair growth treatment. And today I want to continue this conversation by reviewing the evidence for another natural hair growth treatment you may not be aware of rosemary oil versus a 2% solution of minoxidil for the treatment of androgenic alopecia hair loss. This study is pretty straightforward and it's basically a six month long investigation which is long enough to see improvements in hair growth. Basically 100 young men with hair loss problems are split into two equal groups. There's 50 guys who use a topical 2% solution of minoxidil, also known as Rogaine, and the other 50 guys use topical rosemary oil. Now to get more specific here, each group used two milliliters of either rosemary essential oil or minoxidil each day. They used one milliliter in the morning and another one milliliter dose was used 12 hours later. Each solution was massaged into the scalp and left on the scalp. In other words, they did not wash it out. So what did they find here? Well, the researchers reported that after three months of treatment, the average number of hairs counted on the heads of these individuals was the same in each group. In other words, both rosemary oil and minoxidil appear to help hair loss about the same. Okay, so that's nice, but what does this actually look like? So here is a picture of one of the men in the study before using rosemary oil, and on the right you see him three months later. What do you think? Do you see a difference? Looking at this picture, I do see a difference in hair growth after three months compared to what we see on the left, which is before the study began. Now, let's compare this to three months with Rogaine. So here we see the before and after pictures of a guy who used minoxidil for three months. I do see a significant difference in hair growth here as well. Now, that said, these pictures, in my opinion, don't exactly compare apples to apples because it looks like the guy in this picture had a bit more hair on his head in the beginning than the guy who was shown previously who was using the rosemary oil hair growth treatment. So let's look at them side by side. So here we see a picture of the guy shown previously who used the rosemary oil and below it we see the guy who used the minoxidil treatment. Which do you think is superior? Let me know in the comments below which hair treatment you think worked better. Now, all that aside, one problem with this study is that these pictures were taken before and three months later. But remember, this was a six month long investigation. Did rosemary oil grow hair better after six months than minoxidil? Well, this is what they show us, a graph. I know what you're thinking, what is up with that? Why did they show us a graph when before and after pictures would say things so much better? That's a limitation of this investigation in my opinion. Now, that said, what's up with this graph? So basically what these researchers are saying here is that there was no significant difference in the number of hairs on the heads of the individuals after six months, no matter if they use rosemary oil or if they use minoxidil. Both rosemary oil and minoxidil are said to have worked the same, no significant difference. Rosemary oil was said to be as effective and that's their words, as effective as minoxidil, a 2% solution of minoxidil. They go on to say that rosemary oil was superior to minoxidil after six months with respect to hair falling out. Those men using rosemary oil also had less hair shedding than those who use minoxidil as well. That's interesting. And as for side effects, there really weren't any negative side effects reported in either treatment group, except that scalp itching was reported basically by everybody, although they said that the itching of the scalp was more common in those who used minoxidil versus those who used rosemary oil. 
So this appears to be the first study to show that rosemary oil applied topically to the scalp appears to help hair loss and is equally effective as minoxidil. This is definitely an interesting investigation, although remember, this study came out in 2015, which begs the question, where are all the other studies? Until next time, I'm Joe from SupplementClarity.com. Take care.